where senior Catalan officials dismissed by the Spanish government using direct rule over Catalonia. Hello and welcome to Catalan News. Marina Borrell Falco and Agustí Colominas are the new names to be added to the list of Catalan administration high-ranking officials sacked by Madrid in the past six months, a list which now has more than 200 people on it. This includes the Catalan government members deposed in October. This is the main reason why this year's San Jordi celebration held on Monday will look different from previous years. We'll find out how on our show today, and we'll also speak to an Italian MEP who is part of a group of European representatives aiming to promote EU mediation on the Catalan issue. Today, the Spanish government used direct rule of Catalonia to dismiss Catalan senior officials. One of them was Marina Borrell, the general director of the Catalan Foreign Affairs Department. The reason is this. On Wednesday, the deposed Catalan culture minister took part in an event at the Catalan delegation of Brussels, now also directly controlled by Madrid. This enraged the authorities in Madrid, directly controlling the delegation now, which threatened to take immediate action. The Spanish executive also dismissed the director of the Catalan Public Administration School, Agustí Colominas, arguing bad behavior and lack of respect towards Spain's ministers. What's more, the Catalan administration under Madrid's control will take part in a lawsuit against an unofficial vote on independence which took place in 2014. This even though it was the Catalan executive itself promoting the vote. Rajoy's cabinet delegate in Catalonia gave explanations of why the two officials were sacked. En el cas que se situïn al marge de la llei o qualsevol actuació destinada a trencar els ciments de la convivència comporta una pèrdua de la confiança i, per tant, el seu cessament. As the Spanish measures on Catalonia continue, one of the hot topics these past months has been the need for dialogue in the conflict. Some 30 MEPs have founded a platform called EU Catalonia Dialogue, aiming for Brussels to promote mediation. This platform was presented today in Barcelona, a city which might have an unlikely candidate for mayor, Manuel Valls, the former French prime minister. Europe continues being an important actor in the Catalan political arena. From Finland to Portugal, some wearing yellow ribbons in support of Catalan leaders and others criticizing the independence bid, European politicians have their eyes set on Catalonia and some are even stepping into the fray. Members of the European Parliament today visited Barcelona. They're part of the EU-Catalonia dialogue platform, encompassing 30 MEPs from a dozen member states and from parties all across the political spectrum. It is outrageous, it is absurd, it is a Schweinerei to put elected members of the Parliament, of the governments, to jail. You humiliate the representative and that way you can then have the self-satisfaction, I succeeded to humiliate the nation, all of them. So that's the logic of what I was seeing in, 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 in the case of, and, and the events of the 1st of October. It was indeed the day when Catalonia became a major European issue. People voted en masse in an independence referendum despite Spain's opposition. More than a thousand people were injured by Spanish police officers. Madrid claimed that many officers were injured too, but the final toll, released today, brings the number down from 400 to 100. European politicians have also spoken out against the independence bid. Manuel Valls, the former Prime Minister of France, who was born in Barcelona, has become a vocal detractor. We've seen him on anti-independence marches and also in unionist rallies in the last election campaign. Now he could join the main unionist party, Ciutadans, and run for mayor of the capital of Catalonia. Vamos a abrir las puertas al talento, vamos a salir a ganar las elecciones y desde luego una persona del nivel del señor Valls, primer ministro, un demócrata convencido, un amigo de España y de Europa, ¿no? una persona que ha defendido sus valores en plena crisis del separatismo catalán, desde luego que para nosotros merece todo el respeto. Barcelona is set to become a political battlefield in 2019. Apart from Ivo Vigil, the Italian MEP Eleonora Forenza took part in today's event in Barcelona. We can speak with her now from the same auditorium where the event was held. Ms. Forenza, thank you very much for being with us. Hello. Hello. First of all, what are the aims of your platform? The aims of the platform are to uh, build a dialogue between a European institution and Catalan people and Catalan institution. Uh, there, uh, we call uh, for uh, the release of the political prisoners and uh, we ask uh, not to extradite the uh, people that are on uh, exile. Uh, 
so uh, we want to be uh, to build a dialogue. We want to build a bridge between Europe and Catalan people and institution. And how do you assess the European Union's attitude towards the Catalan crisis in the past few months? There, are, there has been a, a lack of action uh, in uh, the con in condemning the repression on the 1st of October, uh, in condemning the, the, the possibility, the incredible possibility of, ever, of having people in prison uh, for their political opinion, uh, the crime. Uh, 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 it is unbelievable that he's punished as a crime, uh, organize a referendum. And so uh, our aim as a platform is also to uh, make our duty uh, as a, a political, European political representative and uh, try to overwhelm the lack of role of the European institution. So do you think this is an internal affair as top European heads still claim? Uh, I think that uh, uh, it is, um, this, the Catalan issue uh, speaks about the lack of democracy in all the Europe because it's unbelievable that we have political, prison, political prisoners in 2018 uh, in the middle of Europe just for their opinion, just for the political battle. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, the whole Europe is trying to um, transform political problems in uh, uh, penal problems, repression problems, and uh, as uh, uh, political opinion are a crime, solidarity is, be is uh, becoming a crime, we should fight against this Europe and build another Europe. And is the EU still in time to mediate? I, I think so. I think that we are still on time and we should use this time to make it clear that uh, Catalan people have the same rights of the other European citizens. Thank you, Ms. Forenza. Thank you to you. The political situation is so intense and atypical that it's affecting many sectors of the public life in the country. On Monday, we will have new evidence of that. The San Jordi celebration, in which thousands of people take to the streets to buy books, roses, and to enjoy the atmosphere of the day, won't be the same as every year either, especially on the institutional side. The long-awaited holiday San Jordi is happening on Monday. But this year, the day is set to be bittersweet. Many of the institutional events usually include the Catalan president, but with the Catalan government deposed last year, its members mostly in prison or abroad, and the Spanish courts having blocked each of the several candidates presented, events are not viable. Still, some urge the positive outlook, despite the circumstances. Ni aquesta normalitat institucional, la normalitat política, ni la injustícia que pateixen els que estan privats de llibertat ens ha de fer renunciar a l'alegria, al somriure i a la llibertat que representa la festa de Sant Jordi. Turin's speech at the Parliament ahead of the holiday included officials reading various texts and poetry. The speaker will not, however, deliver an institutional message on Monday. Also cancelled are the traditional mass and blessing of the roses ceremony, both held in the Catalan government headquarters and usually attended by the president of the entity. It's also customary for the aforementioned to deliver an institutional message, which still might be given by Carles Puigdemont, the deposed Catalan president. It would, however, be from abroad through social media, as it was for New Year's. Meanwhile, Events like open doors for the Catalan government headquarters and various performances will still take place. A visual representation of the singularity of this year's San Jordi is the higher presence of a new color rose, yellow. Red might still be the classic color for those you love, and yellow is predicted as an addition, standing in solidarity with Catalan leaders abroad or behind bars. Moving on to business now. Another trade fair is underway at the Fira de Barcelona, one that might interest the more adventurous amongst you, especially those looking to book a holiday sometime in the near future. It's good news for all the intrepid travelers out there in Catalonia. The tourism trade fair Beat Travel has returned to Barcelona. And this year, as well as the usual offerings of tourism experiences and travel bookings, there's also a space dedicated to professionals at this year's edition. According to the president of Beat Travel, the 26th edition of the fair comes at an important moment, specifically with regard to the slump in tourism at the end of last year. 
En aquest moment portem un trimestre de recuperació i, per tant, el saló ajuda d'una forma contundent a poder millorar la nostra situació de pernoctació de la ciutat de Barcelona. Klaus also stated that there is more quality on offer with more than 40 international destinations. There's even a stand dedicated to tourism within Catalonia. Some of the highlights among the international holiday locations are the United States, Japan, Scotland and Ireland. The usual candidates are also present, including Italy, France, Peru and India, with travel agency representing to this country returning to the fair once again. For Incredible India, this is the fifth time it has exhibited at B Travel. It's an occasion to sell packages directly to prospective Catalan tourists, according to the company's president. La gente de Barcelona viaja mucho y esta es la mejor manera porque la gente que viajando tiene vacaciones ahora en julio, agosto, septiembre, ellos toman los, uh, los tours, los paquetes ahora mismo. Also present at this year's Bee Travel, in what is a first for the fair, is a space set up in collaboration with Mobile World Capital Barcelona, presenting initiatives from 15 startups, aiming at encouraging debate on innovation and technological trends within the industry. It runs until April 22nd at the Fira de Barcelona. Also in business news, the Catalan exports industry continues to get positive results. In fact, for the first two months of 2018, exports have increased by 5% compared to the same period last year, making it a historic record for January and February. The country has exported goods to the value of over 11 billion euros. The industry which saw the biggest rise in selling abroad was the chemical sector. The increase in Catalan exports demonstrates a continuing of the trend seen throughout last year, when Catalan companies registered a record 70.8 billion euros of sales abroad. Let's have a look now at what's going on with culture. We also have good news for Catalonia and for film. A wonderland for film lovers opened up this Friday with the inauguration of the second edition of the Barcelona San Jordi International Film Festival. The Verdi Cinemas, located in the heart of the charming Barcelona Gracia neighborhood, is the setting for an extensive selection of international films. In total, 38 titles are on the program of this year's edition. Among the films to be screened this coming week, there's a world premiere, as well as many premiering in Catalonia. The second edition of Barcelona Film Fest will be celebrated throughout the upcoming week. And that's all for our show today. We leave you, though, with another event related to San Jordi, but this time, it's opera. The world premiere of a new production of the Russian piece The Demon by Anton Rubinstein is set to debut at the Liceo Theatre this Monday. There, talent from Latvia, Russia, Germany and France will take you on a journey with incredible set design. Enjoy, and we'll see you on San Jordi. <laughs>